Okay, it's a uh, Lua time. I um, got the uh, film in slow motion right now. I'm I'm going down. I know the Alua is in the rock here. I'm trying to place the camera here, and then when I seen the Alua looking at me, I, I decided to take the shot. The Alua gave me that nice turn. Boom! I hit him right where I wanted him. If you look, the spear is actually coming out from the front. The Alua actually bangs the rock, puts puts the spear in a little bit deeper, and he finds a way to turn. Out. And then I decide I got plenty of time, but I decide to leave the camera on the gun so you can see the Lua fighting in the rock. Give me one reason to stay here, and I'll turn right back this is uh, the same dive. Uh, this is at re regular speed, and you'll see the Lua get hit here. Bangs the rock a few times. You he know goes that here. I called this is where I made the decision I to keep the camera on the gun. Now this is how I lost my last me, camera, baby. but this time I uh, rigged different things up so that the camera would not take a strain on the rock. Now what you can't see right here is that the Alua is going to break the string soon from the gun. Right there, boom, he breaks the string from the gun. The reason I know this is I'm on the top and I see him come out of the rock with the spear and the gun's not following it. So I, I grab the line and uh, him and me fight back and forth along that rock where it was a pretty long fight and anyway, um, he really got tired out, I got tired out, and this, the spear uh, actually came out. Here's how the light came out. Look, he actually busted that plastic right there. It probably took about 100 pounds of pressure. This is how deep the spear was in the, the Alua, right there with his bend. Okay, I told you how hard they fought. I knew the, the Alua had to be around, close by. There's only a few holes in this area. So I went everywhere. Up and down, looking everywhere until I found this nice little cave and got my prize. That Alua fought long and hard, and I decided that I wasn't going to stop until I found it. There was I think that was, that dive you seen there, that was probably my 60th dive looking for that Alua. So I was happy. I went down there again to pull him out. He had a, there was a little eel playing with him. And he said, ah, let the eel have a little bit. He's mine. You know? So it, it was something that, you know, I mean, it, you never forget. You know? So it's one of them things that says, I wasn't going to leave that water until I got that Alua. Really happy that, and here, here it is. I'm making a little victory dance. And I'm gonna pull the prize out of the rock right here. Did I get you guys again? Yeah, that's right. I didn't find it. But anyway, got some of my frustration now. And um, I'm still kind of disgusted about it, but I was a warrior. Yeah. I think I learned some things, and I just wanted to pass some things to you guys. So, until next time.